My name's Anne-Marie Hillerman. Um, I work in the Australian Fauna Precinct at Taronga Zoo. On our Australian Fauna section for the Macropod Yard, we had some Sulo bins that required a bit of a design improvement. My name is Matthew Fegan and I'm the warehouse coordinator at Arcadian Organic. In our warehouse, we work in a very enclosed environment, so we decided to implement the halo system onto our forklifts. I'm Julie Taylor, I'm the Health, Safety, Security and Environment Manager for Coffee Services. We had received some injury reports from our employees from using what's called a hand auger. So the investigation that we did was into looking at the different types of equipment that is on the market and then seeing how we could best fit that to work for our employees. My name's Jenny Fraser, I'm the Workplace Health and Safety Advisor for Aruma. We identified a need to improve the health and safety rep training. We need to be able to include our supported workers who have intellectual disabilities and physical disabilities and it was very hard for them to be able to sit in a training for five days. Being a zookeeper, I absolutely love working with animals and interacting with them on a daily basis. So having a safe work environment um, in order to have those interactions is probably one of the highlights. Because we had the consultation um, with the team, it really got people engaged in the project. It's really helped create a better understanding of work health and safety culture within our organisation but it also kind of paves the way for future as well and allows us to really start to make and implement some changes. We're always trying to continually improve safety. Um, it's part of our culture here at Arcadian Organic. The signage system has got us uh, thinking about where we can potentially uh, improve in other areas. I was really surprised about how easy it was to implement a process and just make things safer from day one. There's always need for improvement when it comes to safety. You can always continually improve. No matter what the small things are that you can improve, there's always processes you can implement to make things better and safer. Coffee's introducing what we're calling the safety steps that are starting in October for Safe Work Month. These safety steps are the critical controls that we have for the risks that we've identified and we're encouraging our employees to, to take those steps to make a safer workplace. This project has really helped for the employees to see that they can get benefit when they do report some sort of an issue and that uh, there will be a response. So I, I can see in the future that our employees will be much more engaged and will be able to help us to improve our workplace health and safety. There's been a fantastic uptake amongst the workers. They are passionate about what they do. They have got the most amazing ideas. They email me or call me all the time and say, Jenny, what do you think about this? Or I went to my manager and said that we maybe need to look at this. So the advice I'd give is to focus on people's abilities and not just assume that because somebody's got a disability that they can't understand what they're doing and that they have the right to say what their job entails because they're the ones that are, are doing that particular task and they know what they're doing and they come up with some amazing ideas. Anyone, Anyone can, can be a safety champion. champion. It's up to you to take that first step. It's as easy as having a conversation with your colleagues. It's about taking that first step. It's about being brave and bold.